Hello and welcome back to the Git Python development stream. It's Byron speaking, and today I'm trying to tackle issue 287, file handles left open. This is kind of a known issue, even though I was thinking that even that at least in Python 2.6, uh, handles would be closed with the destruction of a particular object. So that did nothing, which either means the destructors are not called, or, well, what's what's this release which should be there? Uh, which apparently isn't there, and 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 so there's a few things I wanna wanna try out here. So let's let's see if I can reproduce it. Probably I can. Should be easy enough. Um, yeah, the default implementation. The default implementation will use the native Git one, the pure Git one. So R is Git repo, like that. Oh yeah, let's try to get another shell here. Um, maybe I put it there. Voila. Let's try to get another shell and see what Alice off says. I hope I do have it. Do I have it? I do. Grab and then git. Where is it? It's in git dash python. That should find something. Okay, that's the current working directory. That's okay, so nothing yet. But I think if you say commit and then, I don't know, message, now some object should be open and we have the pack. Awesome. So let's see. There is an object database and I thought this would have. some way to close it, to release stuff. Let's see. Release. Okay, that is implemented for, okay, that's obviously not what it is implemented for. Ah, I don't know, I don't know that anymore. I don't know this library so well anymore. I know, I know that there is git db. Oops, let's close a few things here. Git DB, which should have the stuff that I'm looking for. Ah, I'm usually not the sidebar guy because it's slow, but considering I don't know what to look for. Um, ODB, so here we should have some implementation that allows to kind of drop handles. S I don't know, there was an interface for this. Update cache. Sad cache, come on, somewhere. Update cache is definitely one thing, but apparently there's nothing that would drop the cache. It might also be related to smmap though, because smmap also is actually the back end, I think, for the um, uh, git db here, because the packs are memory mapped. So the smmap might be the one who actually use it, uh, maps the stuff. And I think there we had a release function, wasn't that right? Smmap util. Release all resources. This instance might hold, must only be called if their there's usage count is, is zero. Yeah, well, this is on the map region. Hmm. So maybe let's see let's see where the calls are. Release was called just with self, right? Just a method. Yeah. So we can we should be able to look for a dot release here. And hopefully find some higher level stuff uh, that will do for us. C V C V that's a config writer or something. So configuration can be released, submodule stuff. Um, maybe in his mmap there is a call, a high-level call that kind of calls whatever is needed as mmap mman. Here we go. So here it calls release for everything. Question is under which circumstances? So that goes for increment client count. And if that client count goes zero, then uh, stuff is released. 
And here, force map handle removal win. Okay. So that is also Windows only. Oh man, does it mean there is no such thing as releasing the resources? That's weird. Okay, so what happens if I delete this? Probably nothing. So is there some Dell implementation here? Let's search it from that point of view. Util, get index, repo base, clear cache, but it's only for git, for the git command. Okay, that's something. Streams close themselves, git db util, locked fd, buff and access, destroy. So here we have something, it calls destroy. And that will then, yeah, I don't know if that trick, honestly, I don't know. And it's Python here, so it's all kind of fuzzy. <sighs> yeah, that's in the meanwhile, trigger uploading the next video. But besides that, ah, I'm not sure if that even works. The only idea I have is to use a different database, maybe. I mean, first, let's try to delete this, but probably it doesn't change a thing. Nope. If you get out of here, then obviously the process is dead, so we are free. Yes, let's try that again with a different database. Maybe that's the solution. Because right now I, I don't I don't think this is possible. It should. And I think it automatically releases stuff at some point if it can't but yeah, I don't I'm not, I'm not sure. It's annoying. And as destructors are not called um, in a deterministic fashion, in Python 2.7 it should be deterministic, but in Python 3 it's not. You can't, you don't know anything anymore. And I thought there there was something like release here, but apparently it only wants to cache stuff. Oh well, okay. Let's try. Let's try with another ODB. R is oh wait, first import git. R is git repo ODB type shall be git git command object database i think it wants a type good and now we say r commit message there we go let's see what we see here in alisoff all right so it has opened the pack but this time i would expect um, our sub process to have opened the pack so let's see how that looks like. Let's go to IPython. Yeah, so these guys, they should have opened the pack now. So if I can get this to be closed, then we have a chance. Um, R ODB, so this time it's a command database. Oh, uh, well. What kind of what kind of database is it again? Yeah, git command object db, but apparently it doesn't have any function that would kill anything. But I think if this goes down, it tries to destroy its processes here. So these should go away when I delete this object. Dell, let's delete the entire repo. Oop. Cool. So that worked. So now I should have nothing open anymore. Okay, so that's the solution then. I call that the solution. Even though it's not a great solution, it's at least something that is kind of reproducible here. Ah, good. So let's write it down, shall we? Apparently, I was wrong about the release method method on the pure Python implementation of the Git database. However, there is a Git command based implementation which um, uses Git cat 
What was it called again? Get cat file, huh? Let's get another one. Oh, get cat file, yeah. Use this get cat file to obtain object information. In the mo when whenever such a repository or such a database is destroyed the persistent commands will be shut down <laughs> to use it just instantiate instantiate your repo repo instance as follows so there we go python import git then it's r is git repo odbt is git and then git command object db let's just copy it to be sure now we trigger the reading now as of shows some pack files del r now they are gone so that should definitely fix it uh, it's a bit sad that there seems to be no way to trigger this kind of resource release in the pure Python implementation and for now I would and considering considering that good Python is in maintenance mode I believe this is not going going to improve please let me know if the suggested workaround um, did indeed work for you thanks there we go cool so we might you might see it he might close it that shall be it from my part. Thanks for watching and have a great day.